This afternoon, Governor Bevin surprised and angered many lawmakers when he called them back to Frankfurt for an extraordinary session. This came after the Kentucky Supreme Court ruled last week that the pension law passed earlier this year was unconstitutional. Despite the short notice, many lawmakers made the trip back. So did some teachers who fought heavily against the previous bill. The Kentucky Education Association representing teachers was among the first to push back against the original law. KEA, along with the Fraternal Order of Police and Attorney General Andy Bashir, sued the state. Then last Thursday, the state Supreme Court decided the legislature passed the bill unconstitutionally. Now some worry that process is going to be repeated. Now, because he has the authority to call a special session, he's calling one. But is there legislation? We don't know. Are people able to be here? We don't know. The bottom line is, is there's a, a regular legislative session in 22 days. This afternoon announcement, lawmakers only had four hours to get back in time for the session start. But they are not finished yet, even though tonight seemed to be a series of false starts. That's right. WLKY's Lauren Adams has been in Frankfurt since the session began. Lauren, what seems to be the plan moving forward? Well, Vicki, right now there isn't a plan. That's the problem. A lot of closed door meetings at this hour. Unfortunately, it appears we are in for a long night. I've got to tell you, members of the House and Senate, well, they've only been in their respective chambers, Vicki, for a matter of minutes. Now, we have not seen any action from the Senate in quite a while, and it's been about an hour since we've seen any movement here from the House of Representatives. And when those members did return, and it was only for a few minutes, Rick, Vicki, I got to tell you, teachers, firefighters, and others who rely on Kentucky's pen well, they were not happy about it. This was inside the House chamber just over an hour ago. Teachers and others furious that the session was resumed and then just as quickly recessed. And that's much of what we've seen tonight. Empty chambers as lawmakers meet behind closed doors. A bipartisan effort, I'm being told, to reach some type of agreement. I've spoken with lawmakers on both sides of the aisle and they tell me they are dedicated to finding a resolution. And we still haven't seen a bill. Uh, the caucuses have gone back into their rooms right now. We don't know what's in the bill, haven't seen a bill, don't know what action will be taken tonight, but we're here, you know, ready to fight for the pensions. This governor, no matter what you think of him, he is, he is willing to tackle this issue straight on. And we're here, he called us into session, we've got a job to do. It could be a messy job, but we're going to do it because we've got to put Kentucky on the right path financially. Now, as I mentioned, Rick, Vicki, at this point, both the House and Senate remain in recess. Now, I'm being told that this could possibly come to a head on Friday. The bill, and keep in mind, not everyone has even seen it tonight. We're not sure what it is, what is included in that bill. The hope is to have it finalized and voted on by this Friday. But just how long lawmakers remain here tonight, along with the media, well, that is anybody's guess. Reporting live for you in Frankfurt tonight, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.